Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. In this video we will be speaking about policies, how can they help you, which uh, policies are important to upgrade at first as a free-to-play player. Uh, well, the policies are for the all the kinds of players, doesn't matter if you are free-to-play or uh, pay-to-win, but only difference for these people are for a free-to-play players, it takes time, but for a pay-to-win player, it will be easier because they, they can just click on the Enact Now, which is gonna cost 80 gems, and it will be upgraded straight away. So, which uh, policies are important to upgrade at first? It depends on what type of gameplay you are going for. For example, if you are, go if you are a war player and you want to... Uh, fight as much as possible to gain some merit, then uh, we're gonna dive in and we're gonna start to upgrading military expansions. Military expansions are main source of leg legion capacity. As you can see, I'm on season 1 plus and my both military expansions are on a max. I did not progress through the uh, policies to the military expansions 3, but in general, why are policies in the game? Policies are in the game to help the people to have a better hospital. That's my opinion. Uh, people make sometimes a lot of mistakes upgrading the policies. Like generally you can't make a mistake by uh, upgrading any of these, right? You can see. But on every corner you have a choice. Here is a choice. Medic, medic recruitment, medic training, medicine stockpile and medical supplies. Whenever you're going to upgrade this uh, side of the policies, you're going to have a choice. Either you're going to upgrade medic training or medicine stockpiles. Why it is important to upgrade daily elixir production and it's bad to upgrade daily resource healing? Well, if you can, if you will think at first, you will decide like, okay, there I have a lot of resources. Uh, I can just simply heal my troops from resources right but in this game it is really really important to it is really really hard and really expensive to heal your heroes through your resources it is always better especially for a free-to-play player to save your resources for upgrades right for example to recruit your army to uh, make some buildings to do a research so it's always better to have an elixir production so it will be free basically for you to heal all your troops. As you can see, I have some troops on my hospital and if I want to heal them by resources, it will cost pretty much higher. But as you can see, I have elixir production almost more than two, almost 200,000 uh, elixirs per day so I will just click on heal and all my troops will be healed so let's get back to the uh, policies right so now we decided that daily elixir production is one of the most important policies you can upgrade through the policy table right when we're gonna progress through the policy table you're gonna have a couple of decisions to make one is to make a, uh, decisions through medic training or medicine, as we already talked. Second one is here. Either you're going to choose, again, daily resource healing or elixir production speed. Uh, as I already said, resource healing is really, really bad, especially for a free-to-play player, because whenever you are progressing through the game, every building uh, every building it takes a lot of resources to make even armies even uh, a single research i will show you for example if i want to upgrade my sacred hall to 24 i need a lot of resources so it will be better for me and better for you to save your resources for a progression stuff not on uh, troop healing right so here you can choose easily elixir production speed. Uh, it will help you to make as much uh, elixirs per day and it will be beneficial for you if you are farming, if you are farming uh, darklings, if you are wa on the war and you are fighting and you are gaining some merits. And here again, elixir production speed. When we're gonna progress to the last step of the policies, again, you will have one more choice. 
which is here again daily resource healing or and daily elixir production as you can see as we already spoke elixir production is best way to be on this game so now you know which kind of uh, policies you need to upgrade whenever you have a decision regarding other stuff well for example for me uh the free-to-play player i always try to max my military expansion and resource gathering uh, because resources and xp is important also as you can see hero, hero experience is good too especially if you are on a new season and you want to level up your heroes if your heroes are already on a max level then of course military expansion and resource gathering so uh, this is mainly what i want to speak about policies regarding the ore production or wood production uh, gold production this is not a very important thing to start with of course you will have to uh, upgrade those to have a chance to uh, upgrade military expansion 3 so if you're just gonna start from here and continue through the route like as you can see if i want to have a healthcare reforms which will give me elixir production i need to have war studies 2 on a level 5 and artifact expertise to level uh, 5 so i'm on the, i'm on this stage i'm uh, i'm upgrading war studies 2 to get to the elixir production actually when i started to season 1 plus there was a lot of wars in my game and whenever i had no policies because it was the beginning of the season it was really really hard for me to fight because uh it's it's easy to have your uh hospital full if you don't have uh good policies what you can do if you made already one mistake and you want to start over then here is a button reset uh, when you're gonna click the reset all your policies will be reset and you can start over uh, my uh, videos will be uh, regarding for free-to-play players but of course pay to win players can come can listen can watch and if they have a different idea or in general people will have a different ideas feel free to write on the comment we will talk maybe i will learn something from you as you understand, English is not my main language and I'm trying my best. Uh, I will try to upload videos uh, whenever I have a new idea. Uh, I'm, I, I'm not just going to show some videos on the channel. I will be uh, watching the game, I will be playing the game. And whenever I have my own idea, whenever I have my own experience, only after that I'm deciding to make a video. So feel free to share your ideas, share your experiences. Uh, share how you feel about the game how game is going and i will try my best to answer all of them uh, and thank you for the watching bye bye